and banker Simon McKeon among those honoured. More Victorian residents brace for flooding as rivers continue to swell today. Lack security now being blamed for the terrorist attack at Moscow's main airport. And eight Aussies nominated for an Oscar will tell you who in a moment. This is Nine News with Wendy Kingston. Good morning. Well, today's the day we're even more proud to be Australian and we're not afraid to show it. Right around the country, we're getting into the spirit. Our reporters are standing by to give us the details on what's happening and when. So first, let's go to Jessica Rich in Sydney. Jess, good morning to you. You're at Cremorne Point with a sensational view of the harbour this morning. Oh, Wendy, I certainly have a sensational view. Look, I might be biased, but I think when it comes to Aussie spirit, Sydney has got it in spades. I'm down, as you say, at Cremorne Point. I'm down at Cremorne Point with a front row view of the harbour here. Uh, a half a million people are expected to cram their way in and around the city. And uh, look, let me tell you, there is so much to see and do here today. Underway at the moment as we go to air is the annual Ferrython. Uh, I think the starter's gun has actually just begun. Uh, it's just gone off behind me at Fort Denison. My cameraman might actually be able to zoom in as we see the ferries at Fort Denison. They've just broken away from Fort Denison there. For those people who don't know anything about the Ferrython, basically a bunch of ferries are doled up to churn and burn their way around Sydney Harbour. They start at Fort Denison, they go around Shark Island, they go under the Harbour Bridge. Wendy, it is a fast and furious race. There are so many boats out there that year after year you actually lose sight of where the finishing line is. And it's competitive too. Last year I actually remember that there were a few collisions. So we're hoping this year it's going to be a little bit friendly. We've got our Channel 9 helicopter in the air as we speak. You might be able to see live shots now yep, of the ferry phone. <laughs> it's looking really beautiful, isn't it? It's such a sight. Uh, as I said, they're all doled up, ready to go, churning their way around Sydney Harbour. It'll probably take about half an hour or so. And, uh, yeah, it's really, a, it's really a gorgeous sight. It looks fantastic. Jess, what else is happening around the city today? Yeah, look, lots happening around the Sydney. Uh, by no means is the harbour the only focus. Hyde Park, Wendy, has actually become a little bit of a mecca for Sydney ciders on Australia Day with a real emphasis on food. The Great Australian Barbecue is being held there. I also read this morning that some cooking lessons will be held there, along with, would you believe, grape stomping. Who would have thought? Uh, Darling Harbour and The Rocks, there's also a lot going on there with kids' entertainment and live music. It is a beautiful day down here this morning, but it is only early. It is going to be a sizzler here today. 33 degrees in the city, 42 degrees in the west. So for Sydney Siders today, Wendy, it really is about keeping cool. Plonk yourself next to the beach. Plonk yourself in a swimming pool. Plonk yourself under an umbrella. Stay cool as you toast the lucky country. Absolutely. Sydney. Thank you very much, Jess. Okay, now let's head to Melbourne and to Andrew Lund at Town Hall. Andrew, good morning. A street party is just about to get underway there. Yes, good morning, Wendy. The National Anthem's just wrapped up and Swanson Street is now lined with people as they prepare for the annual parade down to King's Domain. Uh, they're just raising the flag and uh, then uh, after that the band will fire up and things will get underway. Melbourne's weather's been uh, doing what it does best today. It's been quite unpredictable. Things started off a little bit slowly with the uh, Australia Day breakfast held in uh, drizzle and even sometimes rain, but uh, so far things are holding up for us and we're told we might even see sunshine uh, in time for the roulettes fly over the city, which is due at 2 o'clock this afternoon and hopefully we'll have good weather for the fireworks which are planned for later on uh, about 9.15 tonight down by the River Wendy. So uh, hopefully a great afternoon in store. We're just waiting for the parade to get underway here now. Oh brilliant and the Governor of Victoria has just given an address. What was the message? Well, look, he, he talked really a lot about community and the, the sense of community that makes Australia what it is. He paused uh, to rem remember in particular the uh, victims of the floods down here, also up in Queensland, and also uh, the Black Saturday uh, bushfire victims. Uh, we also heard from the granddaughter of Sir Donald Bradman. She sung that song, uh, I Am Australian, with, of course, that special verse written uh, last year to remember the victims of the Black Saturday bushfires, which is also, I guess, particularly poignant at the moment uh, for everybody who's been affected by these floods. So really. 
his message was about community and really the community uh, spirit that makes Australia great. Wendy? A lot of spirit there at the moment in Melbourne. Thank you very much, Andrew. Let's go to Brisbane now and, of course, with the flood aftermath still so real for so many Queenslanders at the moment, the Prime Minister and Governor-General will be visiting some of the worst hit areas today. Libby Stone joins me now from Kangaroo Point in Brisbane. Libby, good morning. First, what's happening in the capital there today? Well, Wendy, obviously it's been a very tough few weeks here in Brisbane, but I can tell you the city is ready to relax and to celebrate. For many, the party started early. Thousands headed to Suncorp Stadium for the Today Show's Australia Day broadcast. It was a chance to thank volunteers, to thank the Mud Army for their huge efforts in rebuilding the state so far. And look, I can tell you, obviously, there was this overwhelming sense of Aussie pride as many people reflected on just what we've been through and how far we've come already. It's been traumatic and uh, we went out and had a look and helped and that sort of thing and the, the effort was, to, was fantastic, it was unbelievable how quickly and how well it was done. I think as a nation uh, we, we're reminded in adversity the importance of uniting and coming together and this is a classic example of saying. People pull together in a situation like this, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, and Australia. all ages, all ages, young, young to old, and, and now to different nationalities joining in, it's really good to see. The community feel in Brisbane these last couple of weeks has been unbelievable, like really wonderful. Now, unfortunately, the flood crisis has affected festivities in some parts of the city. The annual Australia Day Festival at South Bank has been cancelled. Unfortunately, the parklands are just too badly damaged from the floods. But, of course, the show must go on, so the flag-raising ceremony will be held here at Kangaroo Point. And there'll also be a free concert at the Convention and Exhibition Centre tonight. That is good news. And Julia Gillard and Quentin Bryce, where will they be and what are they doing today? Well, Wendy, Ms Gillard and Ms Bryce have had a really strong presence here in Queensland over the past few weeks and they'll be back here today to really maintain that level of moral support for the people as they move into the recovery phase. Now, our Prime Minister will begin her day in Canberra at a flag-raising and citizenship ceremony before heading to Toowoomba to join in Australia Day celebrations there. And obviously our, our Governor-General is in Rockhampton for a citizenship ceremony. She'll then head south to meet residents in Grantham and Whitcomb in the Lockyer Valley west of Brisbane, an area that's just been hit so hard by this flood crisis. And later on today, she'll attend a memorial service at Gatton. So look, a very busy Australia Day in Queensland, mixed emotions, but certainly a much-needed opportunity for Queenslanders to let their hair down. Yes, Wendy. Uh, thank you very much, Libby. And in Adelaide, barbecues are well and truly sizzling, and award ceremonies are being held right across the state today, while an Australia Day parade will be held later tonight. Night. and Aussie Jessica Malboy will be one of the star performers there. While on the other side of the country, hundreds of thousands of spectators are expected to flock to Perth's Swan River to see an air show there. Fireworks will light up the sky at 8pm local time. And WA police have warned they will be cracking down on antisocial and violent behaviour. As the nation prepares to celebrate everything Australian, those who go above and beyond to make our country a better place have also been recognised. This year, more than 400 people have received Australia Day honours, and while some names will be pretty familiar to you all, others work quietly out of the spotlight. Carol Anderson is a chaplain with the Rural Fire Service. She spent her life counselling victims and volunteers. When Victoria's Black Saturday bushfires hit, she was there to provide support. I'm a behind the scenes person. I like to um, help people, but I don't like to be seen. The service of medicine, neurosurgeon Dr Charlie Teo, has been made a member of the Order of Australia. It's a surprise. Uh, it's a great honour. Uh, I feel very uh, humbled by the whole thing, really. Professor Ian Olver is a researcher and an administrator. He served the community through leadership roles with cancer organisations. I, I feel very grateful because I've always worked in teams of very talented people, so I've always had people around me supporting all the initiatives, helping out. Dr Mark Lone is an eye surgeon. He's been recognised for his work with Indigenous communities in North Queensland. These things are quite surprised because you're doing something which you love, something which you get uh, a lot of pleasure out of, and uh, to be recognised is you know, a surprise, a very extremely pleasant surprise. Lucy Turnbull was recognised for distinguished service to the community 
and Peter Costello was made a companion of the Order of Australia. Jared Coe, Nine News. Australian of the Year, Simon McKeon, has appealed for Aussies to be more generous in 2011. Since being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis 10 years ago, he scaled back his high-profile banking career and instead turned to humanitarian work. And Nine's Davina Smith caught up with him this morning. We well, were very proud of it for Victoria last night. Simon McKeon named Australian of the Year and he joins us now. Congratulations. Thanks, Davina. Have yeah. you had a chance to sleep at all? Uh, no, sleep wasn't on much of the agenda last night. I actually had a call from uh, our foreign minister who was visiting a hospital in Ethiopia at about 1am, so uh, no, no, last night we'll come and go. That was very courteous of him to make a call at that yeah, hour. Yeah, well, I guess we, we share a common passion with overseas aid, but uh, no, it was kind of him, yeah. What's on the agenda this year for you? I mean, everyone likes to make a difference in a certain way. What do you want to do? Yeah, look, I'm, Davina, a jack of all trades. I'm actually passionate about not just one, but a number of different causes, and and uh, as I've had to think about it over these last few hours, um, I, I think my main message this year will be just to um, share my exhilaration, my joy at having um, you know, made a decision to spend a bit of time in the community sector, the non-for-profit sector, and you know, to encourage all Australians that, that have a choice. You know, I've been blessed with a you know, really fortunate uh, business life and uh, all sorts of other people in this country are blessed for different reasons, have choices, and if we can use some of those choices to uh, give back tangibly into the non-for-profit sector, I think we're all the better for it. Someone said to me yesterday, the irony is you're an investment banker that invests <laughs> in the poor. You don't usually get a lot of money out of that, but it's not money that you get back no, on, is it? No, look, we can't survive just on, on money, and having rich personal experiences, having the privilege of playing a small role in changing someone's lot in life. You know, you can't put a penny on that. And from MS, tell us your, mm. your experience with that. Yeah, look, I, I uh, was diagnosed about 10 years ago and uh, I'd had a couple of, uh, you know, quite profound experiences. I was uh, blind for a little while. I actually lost uh, uh, my mobility from the hip down for a while as well. And I really didn't know what was ahead of me. Uh, I didn't know, as I keep saying, whether I'd kicked the last footy with my kids. But again, um, uh, many people were thinking about me, praying about me, I guess, and, and uh, I have ended up in a very easy part of the MS spectrum. I actually don't talk about it much only because, it's not that I'm embarrassed, but uh, there are so many thousands of Australians who have MS and other debilitating conditions as well. But for me, the fact that I've, uh, you know, tasted what, if you like, mortality might have been like, I don't take any days for granted nowadays. You know, I, I try and live life for the fullest, and uh, for me, MS has actually been, ironically, a positive experience. It's an amazing example to us all, so thank you so much. Thank you, Tafina. And solo sailor Jessica Watson is our Young Australian of the Year winner. I don't think anyone expects something like this, you know, set off to sail around the world, and, you know, this is just incredible. I think it's only still uh, just sinking in, really. Good honour, and we will bring you more of that interview a little later in our bulletin. Well, while most of the nation celebrates, Australia Day events have been postponed for much of northwestern Victoria today, which remains in the grip of floods. Laura Turner is in Lake Boga.